the conditioner as well as the leave-in um, my day didn't go as planned yesterday so that's why I have already used those three products off camera and we're gonna review the custard and the edge tamer together on camera so before we get into those two products we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tell you my experience using the shampoo and the conditioner Okay, so the shampoo definitely um, works up to what it claims. It was moisturizing, very moisturizing. Definitely you could detangle your hair with the shampoo. It was very easy to pull apart. Um, I do love that this is sulfate free. This smells amazing. I would say a little bit drop goes a long way like a dime size is all you need even if you're washing your hair twice with this shampoo the second time it was a little it took me a little minute to wash out all the shampoo so a little bit goes a long way that's what i love about this shampoo so this is the conditioner so it says it's also moisturizing and detangling as well definitely true um the only downside to this conditioner is i feel like um, my hair just used a lot of this up. It's probably a little tad less than, I honestly can't tell with the packaging being so dark. Um, okay, it's like about that much in this bottle left. But I did use a lot of this product. It smells amazing, definitely has slip, so you definitely can um, detangle with this. It was moisturizing. I had a great experience with it. So the last product we're gonna go over really quick before we continue is the detangling leave-in conditioner. This detangling leave-in conditioner definitely do what it claims. It does detangle. It's amazing. Um, I'm surprised moisturizing isn't in this description either. You can easily slip um, your hands through. It feels really great in your hands. Um, so I definitely like this. Um, I actually have it in my head now. Like I said, I applied it in my hair um, because I didn't get a chance to film the video as planned. So I had to just at least put something in my hair so my hair wouldn't get dry or tangle up. It smells amazing. I would say this one was the most kind of overpowering smell out of the whole collection so far. Um, I didn't like how overpowering it kind of was but it does smell good but it was a little bit on the overpowering side especially if you're not into like the strong smell smelling products I and mean, you may not like this whole collection probably but for sure that leave-in condition i did notice the smell a little bit stronger let's just go ahead and see what my leave-in is looking like so still moist um you can see my curls so they're still very moisturized, like I can tell. So I'm just actually just going to clip up these sections that I'm not using. And then I'll section it off when I get back to the back. So I'll go ahead and clip this one out the way and start on the, this side. So I'm just gonna unravel it. Okay, so that's what it's looking like right now. This is just with the leave-in overnight. Um, just my hair is definitely moisturized. I decided to put this cap on to keep it moisturized. I didn't want it to get bone dry. Um, yeah, yeah. That's the smell from this leave-in is pretty pretty long lasting so it depending on your preference you may or may not like that product if you don't care for smells so now we're gonna move on with the cluster so this has honey and chamomile in it 
and also almond and avocado in this custard. So let's see how this goes. So that's what it looks like. And I'm gonna touch and get some. So that's that texture. Pretty interesting. It smells amazing though. Okay, that's gonna be good enough. Okay, so it's okay. Um, I feel like because the gel is like on a thick side, it's weighing my curls down a little. So I'm trying to encourage it to curl up quickly without scrunching. Okay guys, so this is what um, that little section is looking like. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue on with this and then this section, and then I will pop back with you guys when I am done. Okay guys, so I'm done applying the clustered all over my whole entire head. And now we're gonna move on to the edge tamer. Okay, so it looks like any other type of edge tamer you can see. So I am just gonna put some right here. So it's looking like I'm gonna like this edge tamer, but um, my only thing is like, if I use it every day, like how that's gonna work out. all of the curl box products that I received in my box, but I did go ahead and purchase something on my own that is also from this same line. And this is the Curl Control Shine Mist. And so this was on sale for $6 at my local Walgreens. Originally, I think these are like 12 or $14 or something like that. I think $12 and I saw these for $6. So I'm gonna try this out on the, with the rest of this collection. So it says you can apply it before styling and also after. So that's what I'm gonna do. So we will see how fast my drying time is with all of these products. I'll be giving you guys my final review and thoughts on this whole collection. So I will see you guys when my hair is 100% dry and every day after until I, yeah, change my hair. All right.
Okay, so I am back and today is day, I will put it right here on the screen. That's what today is for my hair. So we're gonna go ahead and review this collection, okay? I'm just gonna share my thoughts on it. Three of these products from the collection, you pretty much already know my thoughts on the shampoo, conditioner and leave-in conditioner. The Honey Curl Foaming Custard um, that had honey and chamomile in it, um, it's okay. It didn't leave my hair a very hard cast and that's what I do like, so um, that was okay. Um, this is what my curls are looking like. doing my hair tomorrow. I give it an 8.5 because of the packaging size. I, I have all this thick hair. I use a lot of product and this little size, I prefer a bigger size of gel. It didn't perform like, like, oh, like my favorite or anything. Um, but it did do really good. So I, I like, I'm gonna use that up. Like it's okay. The next product is the Edge Tamer. Um, this product does build up on your edges. Like my edges is actually like thick and gloopy right now. Like it's just got a lot of product. I feel like a lot of product on your edges is not good for your hair. Even your scalp right here where your edges are, it's just a lot of build up. The edge tamer, I'm gonna rate that a, like a, like a two, three. The next product is the Curl Control and Shine Mist, and this again was not included in the Curl Box for November. I went out and purchased this on my own. This product right here, I've been using every single day um, since the day one, and I'm not all about the results. The con I don't like about it is, you literally can tell it's literally a liquid form and I prefer more of a closer to like oil based type of um, form. Kind of like OGX, I'll leave a picture right here, but like the OGX line, their little spray mist, those are perfect. They're not too greasy, they don't weigh your hair down. They're, it's like a light mist. I prefer more things along that end. But this kind of feels like you're spraying um, like water in your hair or like a leave-in liquid leave-in in your hair to kind of like keep your hair like refreshed or whatever that's what this feels like um again i wasn't all about what results it gave me um as you can see this is what my hair looks like um it's not super duper moisturized but it's not bone dry it, it may i don't know if it looks like it or not but it's not bone dry i will rate like a, like a, I don't, I'm not trying to sound harsh, but I'm not all about it at all. It's not all of that to me. Um, at least right now, as of this moment in this review right now, today, it's not that all that to me. Um, and I'm going to say, um, I'm going to give it a fair thing and just say five. The leave-in conditioner, I'm going to say a nine simply because of the packaging. I prefer it bigger. Um, even though it's supposed to save up to like 30 minutes and styling time with all these products, I still will like bigger packaging because I have a lot of hair. The conditioner, um, a nine, and the shampoo, I will give it 10 because a little bit goes on a long way. So that little packaging right here is actually okay. That is my final review, guys. So if you guys found this video helpful in any way or just simply enjoyed watching my review on these products, um, then don't forget to give me a thumbs up before you go. And if this is your first time watching one of my videos, then please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that notification bell so you do not miss a future upload from me. And as always, you guys, I hope you all have a wonderful day or night. And thank you so much for watching my video. Bye. Is that bird just watching me?